Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Applied Forensic Research Sciences. Today we are going to discuss an instrument named Inductively Coupled Plasma Mass Spectrometry, ICPMS. Today's video will be explained by me, Anushka Mukherjee, a member of Applied Forensic Research Sciences. So, let's start the video without further delay. We are going to discuss the introduction. Principle Instrument Forensic Significance And Conclusion About the Instrument So, let's start with the introduction part. The full form of ICPMS is Inductively Coupled Plasma Mass Spectrometry. It is a type of mass spectrometry that uses an inductively coupled plasma to ionize the sample. It atomizes the sample and creates atomic and small polyatomic ions, which are then detected. It is known and used for its ability to detect metals and several nonmetals in liquid samples at very low concentrations. It can detect different isotopes of the same element, which makes it a versatile tool in isotopic labeling. Principle The first is a sample introduction. Samples most commonly are introduced as liquids. The considerations made in selecting a liquid introduction system include dissolved solids content, suspended solids presence, presence of hydrofluoric acid or caustic, detection limit requirements, precision requirements, sample load requirements, sample size limitations, and operating budget. The analyst is left with the task of choosing the best introduction components. Then comes ion optics. The set of electrostatic lenses located behind the skimmer cone is collectively referred to as ion optics. The role of the ion optics system is to guide the ion beam toward the mass analyzer and to prevent photons and other neutral species, such as non-ionized matrix components, from reaching the detector. The ion optics usually prevent this from occurring by positioning a photon stop or shadow stop in the ion path or by guiding the ion beam of axis. Then comes mass analyzer. After transiting through the ion optic system, ions arrive at the mass analyzer. Several different types of mass analyzers have been used for ICPMS. These include quadrupole, magnetic sector and, rarely, Time of flight. By far the most common type used for routine clinical biochemistry applications is the quadrupole mass analyzer. Then comes the detection unit. The most common detector used for ICPMS is an electron multiplier, M. Positively charged analyte ions strike the first dynode of the detector, which is held at a high negative voltage. The impact of the ion on the detector causes the emission of several electrons from the surface, which, in turn, strikes the next dynode releasing more electrons. This process, called secondary emission, continues, generating an amplification cascade that culminates in a signal large enough to be measured reliably as an ion count. In this way, an M can generate a measurable signal pulse from the impact of a single ion on the detector, conferring very high analytical sensitivity. At last, comes data analyzer. The ICPMS accurately determines how much of a specific element is in the material analyze. In a typical quantitative analysis, the concentration of each element is determined by comparing the counts measured for a selected isotope to an external calibration curve that was generated for that element. The Basic Components of ICPMS There are six fundamental compartments of a single quadrupole ICPMS, the sample introduction system, inductively coupled plasma, ICP interface, ion optics, mass analyzer and detector. Liquid samples are first nebulized in the sample introduction system, creating a fine aerosol that is subsequently transferred to the argon plasma. The high-temperature plasma atomizes and ionizes the sample, generating ions which are then extracted through the interface region and into a set of electrostatic lenses called the ion optics. 
The ion optics focus and guides the ion beam into the quadrupole mass analyzer. The mass analyzer separates ions according to their mass charge ratio, mz, and these ions are measured at the detector. Forensic significance. It is used significantly to measure the trace evidence of actinides present in radiation poisoning or in any case where traditions are used. In the forensic field, Glass ICPMS is popular for glass analysis. Trace elements on glass can be detected. The trace elements from the glass can be used to match a sample found at the crime scene to a suspect. It is also used to measure and examine all the trace evidence that are retrieved from the crime scene for further detection of the composition and matching with the control sample. One of the largest volumes used for ICPMS is in the medical and forensic field, specifically toxicology. An expert may order a metal assay for a number of reasons, such as suspicion of heavy metal poisoning, metabolic concerns, and even hepatological issues. Depending on the specific parameters unique to each patient's diagnostic plan, samples collected for analysis can range from whole blood urine, plasma, and serum, to even packed red blood cells. Another significance of ICPMS is it is also used to examine gunshot residues, which are collected from the hands, clothes, firearms, to detect and examine the composition of the GSR for further matching and finding the type of GSR used. Conclusion ICPMS is a highly sensitive analytical technique for the determination of trace elements of clinical interest in biological fluids. ICPMS offers numerous features which make it particularly attractive for the clinical laboratory. These include high sensitivity, wide linear dynamic range, wide elemental coverage, multi-element capability, high sample throughput and simple sample preparation. Although mass spectrometry is highly specific, scientists and clinicians should be cognizant of the potential for interference and analytical factors which may affect the accuracy of reported results. Thank you so much for listening to our video. Hope you understand about the instrument. If you face any difficulty, feel free to ask in the comment section. To know more about different instruments, topics and details, do refer to the other videos of our channel. If you are new to forensic science and want to know about the scopes, do watch the video forensic science in our channel. If you think of getting admission, do refer to our admission videos. Like our video and share it to all your friends to know more about it. We will meet in our next video with some interesting topics. Bye.